Hi and welcome everyone to our course for protection for electrical power engineering. In this course, we are going to discuss the main concepts about the uh, protection systems and different uh, categories and different definitions about the protection system in uh, electrical power system. So this course will be available in our channel. You'll find that every, every week we are going to uh, provide new lectures about the protection course. So stay tuned for uh, the course and subscribe to our channel to uh, get the latest video about the, or the latest lectures about the protection system. So let's start by uh, discussing why do we need to protect our power system? So why do we need to do this? First, we need to protect our power system against faults which occurs inside it. So fault is like what? Like for example, if we have over voltage, uh, over frequency, under frequency, short circuit, uh, for example, the uh, under voltage or whatever different types of faults which can occur in our power system. And this fault will affect the efficiency of our power system and the stability of our power system. So we have to protect or expect the uh, existence of these faults and protect our power system against the damage which will occur from these faults. Also, we need to keep our power system stable and leaving the network still during the operation. Also, we need to clear the fault as fast as possible. So here, the time itself is very, very important in the protection of our power system. Why? In order to, number one, minimize the disruption of the power system itself. Also, minimize the damage of the power system. Because if, if for example, a short circuit occurred, so the time in which our short circuit available should be very very small in milliseconds because if we let this short circuit become available for a couple of seconds for example our power system will be damaged the conductors will be break down and fire will occur and we will lose amount of money uh, we will also need to clear the faults in order to improve the power system stability also, we need to isolate the faulty part from the healthy power system. What does this mean? It means that we have our power system consisting of a group of generators, transmission lines, transformers, and etc. So, for example, if we have a fault in, a, for example, a bus power connected to a load, we have just to disconnect this faulty part or this faulty bus power from the other power system. Why? In order to keep the power system operating and also to, to minimize the disruption of the power system itself we have just to isolate or remove the faulty part from the remaining healthy power system so protection is necessary with almost every electrical plant and no part of the power system is left unprotected so what does the fault mean a fault in an electrical equipment is defined as a defect in its electrical circuit due to which the flow of current is diverted from the intended path. So what does this mean? It means that if we have a power system like this one, this is a single line diagram of a power system. So here you will find here we have a generator. Then we have through it a transformer here. This one is a transformer which steps up the voltage because the generator voltage will be lower than the transmission voltage. For example, a 10 kV generation. So we will step up the voltage, for example, up to 220 kV or 110 kV or whatever the value. Then we transmit the power through the transmission lines to parallel transmission lines. And at the end, we have a bus power to which our load is connected. Here, we have also a transformer, which is a step-down transformer to reduce the transmission voltage to voltage suitable to our load. So the power comes from the generator here, 
go through the transmission lines then reaching to the load okay so the current flow of the current or the flow of the power from the generator to the load so here this is the normal path or the intended path the intended path for the current itself now assuming a fault occurred for example add the transmission line here fault occurred so what does a fault occur a fault means that we have a different types of faults such as for example a short circuit a three phase short circuit a single line to ground short circuit when one phase connected to the ground or double phase connected to the ground or the three phase to the ground or the three phase between themselves or line to line there is a different types of the uh, short circuit faults so whatever the type of this fault for example this one phase is connected to the ground like this okay for example that three phase to ground now what happens here the current was moving from the generator going to the transmission lines then to the load but now the difference is that our power will go from the generator going here through the transmission line that this transmission line which have the fault go to it and goes to the ground so all of the current here is diverted from its intended path the uh, intended path was to the load but now it is diverted or moved away from its original one so it moves through here going to the ground so the current in this case what will happen the current will be equal to v over z okay the z is from the impedance from all of this impedance through the ground so this impedance is very low okay this impedance is very low so the current generated in this case will be very high in thousands of ampere so what will happen if the if we let this current passes for a long time or for example for a couple of seconds our conductors will burn or fire will occur okay or, or our power system will be damaged and bus power of course will be damaged and forces will occur we will discuss the effects of having faults later so in this case we should disconnect our circuit disconnect this transmission line from the beginning and from the end to cut it off so we removed the fault from our power system so here was this is the meaning of the fault the fault itself can be caused by breakdown of conductors due to excess heat for example or due to the excess current overloading of the uh, transmission lines or the cables or the equipment also the failure of the insulation due to the over voltage or uh, insulation breakdown due to the presence of heat so uh, all of these are factors which will lead to faults in our power system so we need to identify the different types of the faults occurring and how can we isolate the between them all of this will be discussed later in the next lectures so what are the effects of having faults on the power system number one when a fault occurs or a short circuit occurs in the power system such as three phase the three phase uh, transmission line or the three phase uh, power is connected to the ground so a short circuit will occur so in this case since this point of the fault is connected to the ground then the potential or the voltage will drop to zero at the location of the fault why because it is connected to the ground okay since this point is connected to the ground then the voltage at this point will drop to zero and the current fed to the fault will be in thousands of amperes which is of course a very high amount of current so this amount of current this very high or excess amount of current will produce a large heating effect why because you know that the heat is proportional to the square of the current remember that the heat itself the heat uh, the heat produced is directly proportional to the square of the current okay since the heat energy 
uh, is produced from the resistance and the resistance power consumed inside it is I square I square R so the heat energy uh, the heat energy dissipated inside the resistance of the cable is directly proportional to the current square so the heating effect is proportional to the square of the current so since the current is in thousands of ampere then the heat energy will be very high so this will result in the melting of the parts of the conductor okay melting of the conductors if of course we allow this current to pass for several seconds short circuit is usually also associated with arcs so possibility of fire is high also the oil transformer is also subjected to the risk of explosion which could occur as a result of the excess heat and the possibility of internal arcs due to the breakdown inside the oil itself so the oil transformer in this case will be considered as a pump if we allow the short circuit current passage so also what we have uh, from the effects of the voltage as a result of the voltage dropping to zero at the location of the fault this will cause the nearest generation station to go out of synchronism with the uh, power system itself also the transient stability of the system will determine whether the different generating station will remain synchronized with the power system or not this depends on the analysis of the transient stability of the system so by analyzing the delta angle for the generator we can determine the time at which our generators will stand and remain in synchronism in order to have a different generating stations in synchronism the fault should be cleared in the shortest possible time why to prevent the cascaded failures or the blackout so what does this mean it means that we need to clear the fault as fast as possible to prevent the generation or the generating uh, power station to go out of synchronism if we allow this current then each generation will go out of synchronism then the next one will also go out of synchronism and this will lead to cascaded failures because uh, more gener generation or more generating stations out of the power system means that uh, we cannot provide the demand uh, power required so what does this mean it means that our generators will having overload so it will go out of the power system so this will lead to a phenomena called the blackout now here is the different uh, types of the equipment and the percentage of the faults happening in the power system for example the overhead transmission line it has a cause of fault it can be lightning strokes for example the trees kites airplanes touching them uh, storms earthquakes icing internal over voltage all of this will cause the faults inside the overhead transmission line the percentage of the total faults happening in power system is 30 to 40 percent for the overhead transmission lines so overhead transmission lines since they are exposed to the nature so it will have a very large percentage from 30 to 40 percent of the total faults the underground cables can have faults due to failure of the joints or damage during the digging for example due to during the construction or having uh, civil work uh, insulation failure due to the temperature rise because the cables are underground so if the temperature uh, rises then uh, heat breakdown or the insulation breakdown due to excess temperature will occur which will cause of course the connection of the conductor with the ground and this will cause 8 to 10 percent of the total faults also we can have alternators or generators uh, faults such as stator faults rotor faults abnormal conditions faults in the associated equipment faults in the protective system itself of course we are going to discuss in another lectures the uh, protection of the generators and the protection of the transformers and the type of the equipment used in both of them 
and how can we detect the different faults inside them. This will cost 6 to 8 percent for these generators, and for transformers, we have insulation failures, faults in tab changer, which changes the number of turns of the transformer, faults in the pushing of the transformer, faults in the protection circuit, in, uh, protection circuit itself, inadequate protection, overloading over voltage, and 10 to 12 percent. We have also the CT and BT, the current transformer and and potential transformer or voltage transformer. We will discuss them in the next lecture. We have over voltage, insulation failure, breakdown of the conductors and etc. Which will have 15 to 20%. And the switch gear, which we will have, uh, we discussed its concept in our course for uh, electrical substations. It can be insulation failure, mechanical defect, leakage of air, oil and etc. Switch gear can be such as a CT, a potential transformer, current transformer, uh, circuit breakers, relays, anything related to switching inside our power system. And it has from 10 to 12 percent. So in this video, we discussed why do we need to protect our power system and the effect of the faults in power system and the different uh, causes of the faults and the percentage of each of the total faults according to the equipment. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss the trip circuit and the components of the uh, protection system and the zones of protection.